Hello, 8th grade, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So for this week, we are going to be continuing the lesson learning about the universe. Previously, we have mentioned that in order for scientists to study about the space, they are using advanced engineering and technologies to get data from outer space. So they are using instruments such as telescopes, satellites, probes, in order to open up the mysteries of the universe. We have previously talked about the electromagnetic spectrum, which is the radiation or the energy that travels in the form of waves that can be used to help scientists detect information through specific instruments that work on that spectrum. Since we have a lot of type, a lot of types that can be visible on that electromagnetic spectrum, such as visible light, X-rays, gamma rays, ultraviolet radiation, infrared, microwaves, radio waves. We are going to now discover the type of instruments that can give off this type of electromagnetic radiation, starting off with optical telescopes. So telescopes are instruments that collect and focus light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation so we can appear or view objects in larger and brighter ways instead of just seeing them with our naked eyes. So basically telescopes, they use lenses and mirrors to collect and focus visible light. We can have telescopes that reflect or refract light. Also, some other telescopes can use radio waves instead of radiation to collect pictures and focus on different light waves. Moving on to space probes. Probes are basically instruments that land or orbit the moon without having humans in the probe itself. So it's a spacecraft that has a lot of instruments, scientific instruments, to collect and transmit data without having human crew. So it just orbits the planet or the moon to actually get data so scientists can analyze it. When we, when we want to collect these data, we have two types of probes. There are probes that are orbiters, they just photograph and analyze the atmosphere of a planet, or we have landers that are equipped to land on a planet and analyze the materials on its surface. Whether it's telescopes, satellites, astronauts, probes, they are all being used in the solar system in order to explore it and give us extra information and data regarding the mysteries of space. And we will also be talking about the history of space exploration. We are going to be going through a timeline of different space explorations that happened using telescopes, using space probes, or even astronauts that landed in specific planets or on the moon. And that is it for this week. Thank you so much, 8th grade. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thank you again.